Nina isn't the only character in Tekken 7 with a corticicle back backsway, but her backsway harbours unique evasion which allows her to deal with pressure unlike any other character. Whether you're comparing it to a backdash or a sidestep, it can be difficult to identify which of your opponent's characters you should step and which you should sway. This video is to provide a general answer to this question. There are many factors at play, such as move selection, timing and spacing, which can influence the efficacy of the backsway. So please be aware that this is just a general statement and not the ultimate answer as to where you should or should not use it. Akuma Akuma rules the two-dimensional realm with many answers for Sway. You could argue that Sway can deal with Akuma's demon flips or help time to catch his lows, but there are other tools that work just as well. Stepping left can shut down a lot of Akuma's tools already, so the sway is often adding unnecessary risk. Alisa Baskanovich. Backsway does wonders to scramble Elisa's programming and create an opening for Nina to start her pressure. Both Sway and Sidestep Right can force Elisa to take some risks. Step, then Sway, and the game really comes down to their timing. Anna Williams Sway can deal with a ton of Anna's main tools, but so can stepping or walking left. Downfall 1 is so core to Anna's kit and beats sidestep left, so that's what made me rate Sway a little bit higher. Armor King If it weren't for the down forward 2 buff, and the existence of moves like back 4 and down forward 3, this might have gotten the green light. Stepping to the right can cover a lot of options, and stepping and swaying can have an added benefit, if you're conscious of your opponent's move selection. Asuka Kazama It almost feels like Backsway was designed to beat this character. Backsway makes Asuka have to think very carefully about their timing, or throw out something incredibly risky to open you up. Stepping to either direction can also work pretty well, but do keep in mind that a lot of her homing moves are highs. Stepping and swaying can even counter a lot of the riskier options. Bob. This guy really throws his weight around. Sway can avoid a few things, but ultimately it's too risky. 
You could use it to try and block a hell sweep approach, but stepping right is just, well, better. FYI, forward forward 2 can be stepped to the right, but the FF input makes it kind of variable. Brian Fury. Mixing between using backsway and stepping right can really destroy Brian's hitboxes. If you consider Brian a counter hit character, this is in line with him needing to play with timing to catch out the opponent. Backsway adds another layer to that. Claudio Serafino. Another case of sway being good with a catch. Using back sway on its own will leave you vulnerable to a number of Claudio's highly rewarding moves. However, stepping won't open him up very well either. For backsway to be good, you need to couple it with a sidestep right. Step into sway and you don't have to be as scared of those hop kicks, or back ones. Devil Jin. This devilish fiend crumbles at the hands of backsway. While it doesn't cover everything, he either gets little reward is forced to take a big risk or has to play cautiously with timing. If Devil Jin's up forward 4 wasn't nerfed, this would only be an okay. As per the common trend, the power of backsway can be further enhanced in this matchup by combining it with a sidestep. Sergei Dragunov. I thought long and hard about this one, as I believe that it used to be good, such as after a while running two on block. The bottom line is that stepping right is just better. The only thing that Backsway really adds here is the lucky timing of possibly blocking it down too which, as we all know, Dragunov players use constantly. Fuzzy blocking will give a similar effect though, so... eh. Eddie Gordo. You just can't backsway this guy. But, he struggles to sidestep you. A good trade if you ask me. Sidestepping can do a pretty good job against him anyway though, so it's alright. If you do choose to step then sway, you can evade some things, but a lot of moves will still hit you and it just seems like unnecessary risk. Eliza. She's a 2D character, but Eliza is a far stretch from Akuma. Some of her tools can cover backsway without her risking much, or she can throw out a Hail Mary to catch you. Stepping to the left and occasionally swaying can be good. Do remember, while you can't step it, sway will prevent her from getting a clean hit with her down 3 as well. Nina is already cowering beneath this behemoth before she does her sway. It 
doesn't really change the positioning much here. Thankfully, he throws his weight forward into many of his attacks, making him quite linear. Then way. It's no back Kempo, but Sway can do a good job against Feng. The thing is, it doesn't really open any opportunities that sidestep left won't already. An exception could be if you see Feng sidestep and expect a sidestep 4 or down forward 3 mix up, as Sway will beat that. Also, interesting fact, if you sidestep left and Feng does a down forward 4 3, the second hit will whiff, leaving him at minus 22. However, if you step then sway, you'll evade the downfall 4, but stand and block the 3. Gunryu. Sway is a pretty big no-no here in my opinion. Gunryu wants to lock you down and keep you close, so backdash can be valid. Stepping left can work too, but be cautious of his down forward 2, and his annoying down forward 3. If you're fearless, unlike me, you could step and hope that they don't know down forward 2. This could make you evade back too, but yeah, you're gonna get launched. Geese Howard. No soy sauce for geese today. Backsway is good here. Both stepping left and backsway can cover a ton of geese's options. Combine the two, and you can even evade his homing mid down forward too. Gigas. Another big fella, another character that ground pounds any attempt at backsway. The difference here is that you can't really step a lot of his stuff too well either. Sidewalk right can avoid a few things, but can still be risky. Good thing for us, Gigas is terribly unsafe a lot of the time. Heihachi Mishima Tekken's original final boss has some chunky hitboxes, and the risk of getting wall bounced by back 2 or caught crouching by a forward 4 just isn't worth it. The only reasons why I have this listed as okay and not bad is because stepping left is so effective, but adding a sway can help you also cover for his risky lows, while also making some of his mids whiff which a fuzzy blow block wouldn't account for. Sway would be great here if Huarong players used lots of down forward 1 and down forward 2. In reality, you get hit by a lot of things Huarong players do use, such as 4 or 3, forward 1 plus 2, and flamingo pressure. 
Stepping left is effective. After all, that is the way his stomach's facing, right? Also, by doing a sway, you're less likely to be ready to block and remain crouching for a down 3-4. Jack 7 It took 7 iterations, some guns and a big crane, but Jack has some good options now. Sway is ok on its own, stepping left is ok on its own. If you try and combine them, you'll probably get launched though. Sway can negate the mix between down forward 2 and down back 1, but this is still a bit finicky, and you can get launched for it. It's valid to use, but don't rely too heavily on it, and use other options too. Jin Kazama. If the legends are true, every second move will be a forward 4, and Sway will make you lose. That being said, it can still work against some of his more stubby tools. Sidestep right does a much better job at shutting Jin down though. This is a matchup where stepping and then swaying will do wonders. I would still consider Sway to be better against Devil Jin than Jin though. Josie Rizal Josie is yet another newish character that seems to have good answers for Nina's backsway. On its own, Sway won't do well here, and sidestep left shuts down a lot of what she can do. The main use I see for Sway here is that Sidestep Sway can make down for 2 whiff, giving you a greater reward as a callout. Julia Chang. Nope. A back sway will just result in an elbow to the face. Backsway is only really useful against a swift step, such as after blocking a down forward 2 into swift step. Honestly, good luck stepping or evading Julia in general. Her tools can lock you down pretty well. If you expect a party crasher, forward forward 1, you could try sidewalking though. Katarina Alves I really wanted to rate Backsway good here, but she has that darn 4 button. Swaying on its own will get you hit by a lot of her good tools, including hop kick. Stepping right does wonders against Katarina though. Swaying after stepping can skew the risk reward a little bit, in your direction or hers. Kazumi Mishima. As is the trend against the new to Tekken 7 characters, Sway doesn't work too well on its own against Kazumi. Stepping to the right does quite well against Kazumi's offense though, and if you combine your sway with a sidestep right, Kazumi has to reassess her timing or cry to her tiger about her moveset decreasing from 5 moves to 2 moves. Ka 
Kazuya Mishima. Backsway is generally good against Mishima characters, and this is no exception. A bunch of Kazuya's main tools get shut down by a backsway, including the gut blow featured in every single combo video ever, down forward 2. Adding sway to your defensive movement results in Kazuya needing to rely on slower moves, diversifying his toolset, or just changing his timing, and these compensations all work to make back sway a strong tool against Kazuya. King. Does King have anything to catch back sway? Well, yes. Down forward 3 and forward forward 1 can be used to catch an instant backsway, but a little bit of a change of timing and you can even make a forward forward 1 with. Mix between swaying and stepping then swaying and you can deal with pretty much all of King's tools. You're also likely to cause a throw to whiff, which is a nice bonus. Kuma, Panda. The bears are comedically weak most of the time, but their little legs and massive arms put them in the perfect stance to catch Nina with pretty much any mid during her back sway. Sidestepping can deal with them well, but many of the mids can still reach. This means that stepping into a sway won't do a good job while stepping into blocking mid will take you far. The bears aren't known for their good frames, so stepping to create whiffs and block punishing the moves that don't whiff can work pretty well. Kunimitsu The only good thing about Backsway here is that Kunimitsu's down forward 2 won't launch you from it. Backsway doesn't really add anything of value to the matchup, beyond perhaps a few niche situations. In general, stepping is going to do alright and swaying is just going to add unnecessary risk, unless you know exactly what move they're going to use. Lars Alexanderson. Sway isn't too great here, especially if the last player is prone to throwing out, well, any of his launches. You'll either lose half your life or recover to block, but he could be safe as with up forward four. Lars does, however, seem to have a pretty decent gap in his offense, and you can step to the right for most things. Back 1 can fill this gap, but the reward is so little. Many Lars players will use down back 4 to help in this situation, and this is where Nina's sway can give a slight upper hand to just stepping on its own. Martial Law Law has tools of any risk reward that he can use to shut down sway. The mere existence of Law's 3 plus 4 should deter you from swaying without intention. Sway can help in a few niche situations. People say it's quite good after a dragon hammer unblock. But overall, you're better just sidestepping. Lee Chao Lan.
It's not only good, it's excellent. Forward 3 and Forward Forward 3 can be used to deter sway, but it covers so many other tools that Lee players are likely to use. Additionally, if you step and sway, you'll deal with most common tools except downfield 1 while also helping deal with the threats to regular sway. Lei Wulong. On its own, Lei can pounce on the opportunity using tools of very low risk or even going for a launch. At a glance, I would say Backsway is bad against Lei. Following the formula of this video, the reason why Sway is okay here is because it's not good on its own and it's not completely shutting down the character, but Step into Sway will provide you with opportunities you wouldn't otherwise get. It's not good because Lei doesn't have to adjust his timing or game plan with using a Ford Ford 3 here. Leo. Sway has historically been good against Leo and Tekken, but this has come under some contention in Tekken 7. It was the answer for K and K stance for a long time, but the addition of K and K 1 plus 2 and 3 plus 4 both shut this down. Then they just had to make down forward 2 launch crouching opponents, didn't they? The common answer people used to have for Leo was step left and block low as you'd avoid the hop kick and a bunch of other tools and not get launched, while potentially blocking the hell sweep. This is no longer the case of course and you'll just be launched. However, sidestep right sway can be used to shut down Leo's offense in a way that just stepping cannot, and deal with Leo in a way which most characters cannot. This makes it good in my eyes. Leroy Smith. Sway is alright against the Grandmaster of Drip, but it doesn't create too many opportunities on its own. Thankfully, the nerf to Leroy's orbital means that Nina blocks it with her Sway, as I think beforehand it could launch her for a Sway. It would launch me at least. Stepping left or right doesn't do too well here. The most effective lateral movement seems to be sidewalking left, the only way to deal with downward one, but can still leave you vulnerable. However, if you step right then Sway, you can make many low risk tools whiff and give you a free launch. So Sway on its own is okay but doesn't create opportunities, Step into Sway will create opportunities. This makes it good in my books. Lydia Sobieska. Back Sway does very little here. If you can think of a mid that Lydia has, it'll probably hit Nina out of Sway. Stepping right does well against many of her tools, but not down foot one. Stepping some of her moves can be a little bit awkward at times too. Sway can add a little bit of evasion to help, but it's typically just adding risk. You could try sidewalking as that is a little more consistent for evading a lot of Lydia's tools, but this of course still is a bit risky. Lily. Lily is known for having good lateral movement, but poor tracking. If you try and play a linear game here, you're going to struggle. I even find that using Sway will just result in you getting hit by a down forward 3, or rising to block a quarter circle forward 3 plus 4, losing opportunities and allowing Lily to maintain her pressure. Unlike Lydia though, Step into Sway doesn't add evasion where it may help. Instead, it can result in you getting clipped by launches, which a regular step can avoid. It's lots of risk, not much reward.
Lucky Chloe. Sway can evade Chloe's downfall 1, but it's at the risk of being hit by many other common tools, including her hop kick and downfall 3. And let's face it, the hop kick is coming. Stepping left can also cover her downfall 1, as well as a ton of other tools. This is also applicable to Chloe in back turn, by the way. Downfall 2 will track, and so stepping and blocking is effective, where stepping into Sway could get you launched. Craig Marduk This is a matchup where attempting to back sway will likely result in a broken face. Before they buffed the range on Marduk's downfall 1, it could have been a different story. Back sway does have a role against a blocked rage drive, but that's about it. Sidestep right will deal with a bunch of Marduk's tools, but not the downfall 1. This downfall 1 also makes stepping either direction into sway too risky for Nina. Unless you notice that they're not using downfall 1, Typically I'd suggest just stepping and blocking. Master Raven Backsway does beat a good number of Master Raven's tools. The thing is, using it suddenly makes her downfall 4 a real threat, among other things. Thankfully, sidestepping can eliminate some of these threats, and combining the two movements can be a little more beneficial than just stepping on its own. That's why I've rated it OK against Master Raven. Miguel This hot-blooded Spaniard won't have a bar of your back sway, and this is definitely not a good choice, if used by itself. Meanwhile, Stepin can deal with a lot of his pressure, but there's still a couple of things that can catch you. This one was on the cusp of being rated as bad, as stepping alone is quite effective. I decided to rate it as okay, because stepping this way does give Nina a few more openings that other characters wouldn't get. Negan Who is this guy and what is he doing in my video game? He must be from a 2D game, as he has great tools to shut down Backsway, such as his down forward 2 and back 1 plus 2. While down forward 2 can only be stepped with a sidewalk left, and a mix of his tools will track one way or the other, stepping left can do pretty well. Interestingly, sidestep left into Sway can evade his down forward 2 and his up forward 4, and this does really help to limit his tools. Nina Williams I'm seeing double, four Ninas. I guess that Nina has seen this trick before, so she knows how to deal with it. Actually, Sway can still beat a lot of her moves, but things like the Ivory Cutters, Down Forward 1 Plus 2 and Up Forward 4 can beat Sway without a great deal of risk. 
Meanwhile, Sidestep Right will do well against a good number of Nina's options. Downfield 1 plus 2 is still a nuisance here, but at least you can make many highs and mids whiff, as well as lows such as down back 3. Sway does okay at times, but it doesn't really give you anything that Sidestep Right doesn't already, and Nina does have some good answers for it. That's why I've rated it as bad. Noctis Lucis Kylum. Another intruder? Quick, get him! Noctis has too many scary mids for Sway to seem like a good option. He can use something as simple as 2 2 or slash your life away with a down forward 2. Sidestep right will deal with a lot of these scary mids and moves that shut down Sway. Note that a sidestep right can even make the second hit of a 2 2 whiff, giving you a launch. If you step then Sway, you don't really gain anything from the situation and you can lose that opportunity with 2 2. Forward forward 1 plus 2 is an ever present threat as well, and adds to why Backsway isn't great against Noctis. Paul Phoenix. Poor fella can't catch a break. You can sway a good number of Paul's moves, and Backsway can quickly frustrate the player into playing a riskier game. Then you backsway what they do anyway. Down one is a good check here, but it's one of the few options he has. Sidestep right is also scarily good against Paul, and he has to play with his time and to catch you a lot of the time. While sidestep right and sway are both good, and you could argue that the sway isn't necessary here, Paul has a hard time dealing with it nonetheless and using Sway in your game plan can open up more opportunities on its own and alongside Sidestep Right. Shaheen. Shaheen is often described as playing a very compact game. I hear that and think downfield 1 and hop kick. Both of these options can be back sway unfortunately. It is amusing watching Nina go under Shaheen's mid homing kick though. While it doesn't deal with the downfield 1, sidestep right can still be quite effective. Unfortunately, this is another case of Sway not really adding much at all. If you step then Sway, you can't even go under the homing mid kick anymore. Steve Fox. Steve has a number of key moves that can shut down back Sway such as down forward 2, quarter circle forward 1, and sonic fang. Maybe things would have been a bit different before they removed the tracking on Steve's down forward 2, but as things are, backsway doesn't help much here. Stepping to the left can make a good amount of Steve's moves whiff, and lots of the ones that can hit you can be punished. Stepping and swaying can have some minimal benefits but you're more likely to end up being clipped by something for attempting to sway. Ling Xiao Yu. It is satisfying to be the one evading things in this matchup. Unfortunately, Zhao Yu still has a lot of moves to shut down Backsway. It's important to note that Down Forward 2 and Down Forward 2 1 have quite different properties as well. 
Stepping left is definitely a good option against Zhao Yu, and it can force her to change up her game plan. Swaying, stepping left, and stepping left into a sway can work very well in conjunction to help deal with a number of Ling's main tools. Sway doesn't do wonders in this matchup, but it definitely helps. Just be cautious of the downfall 2 1. Yoshimitsu. Did anyone order the squid? Yoshimitsu's freaky design comes with a number of high and low risk moves which can hit Nina out of back sway, including forward 1 plus 2, back 2, forward forward 4, and even crouch dash 1. While you can use sidestep right to cover a lot of options, and sidestep right sway can alter the situation, with what I'm demonstrating in this video, you can see it's a case of evading down forward 1 or forward 1 plus 2. And unless your opponent uses a lot of forward 1 plus 2, evading the down forward 1 will probably be more rewarding, more often. Zafina. This creepy crawly character is a nuisance to verse. I've just stated the benefit of evading a down forward 1, but it's not worth it if you're just going to get launched by a down forward 2 or something similar. Stepping left is often the go-to recommendation here, as it can avoid the down forward 2. You'll still however lose to down forward 1 and many other tools, unless you add a sway. Sidestep right for most characters may not seem the logical option, but you can make it work with Nina. I've shown down 3 and back 1 plus 2 to show you that you can step them both to the right, the down 3 can be a little tough though. If you step and sway, you can suddenly avoid a good amount of Zafina's tools more consistently, but down forward 1 continues to be a problem. If you do want to deal with down forward 1, you could try to sidewalk left, but even though you can step down forward 2, it seems to catch Nina a lot of the time for walking. Sway makes this matchup easier, but it's still a tough one. Well, that's every character in Tekken 7. Do remember that this information has been gathered in a very isolated situation. The characters in which Sway has been rated as good are the ones that struggle to open up Nina due to Sway, or the use of Sway provides Nina with unique opportunities without a great deal of risk. If the back sway has been rated as okay, then it's still a valid option to use. However, there may be a bit of give and take, or a little more risk involved when using the back sway. If sway has been rated as bad, this means that Sway isn't adding anything overly unique to the tested situations, appears disadvantageous compared to the other options, or seems to just add unnecessary risk. Remember that whether the sway has been rated as good, okay or bad, it's more about when and how you use the tool. Don't disregard back sway because some guy on the internet told you that it's bad against a certain character. This game is filled with many unique interactions, and even a difference of one frame at any given moment can influence an outcome. I encourage you to use back sway as you see fit, but hope that this video has given you some insight into the potential of Nina's back sway. Thank you for taking the time to watch Sway My Way, a Friendly Trees primer on Nina Williams' backsway. Please feel free to start a discussion by commenting below. If you've enjoyed this video and are interested in learning more about using Nina Williams, check out my other content, including tutorials on using and executing Nina's tools. I'm a Friendly Tree, and this has been Sway My Way.